Hello, I'm Johnny Rowland, your host of our shooting program, and welcome to today's show. Friends, we're so glad to have you with us. We're doing a lot of exciting things. Thanks to you, our viewing audience. We, our country is in a mess here, and literally, there are people out there that stay awake 24 hours a day. I think they work in shifts to figure out ways to get these guns away from us, and we just don't appreciate that a bit. We have some great things we're going to be showing you today. We're going to go back to the Masters Tournament, and of course, the whole point of the Masters Tournament was to show the best all-around competitor at that tournament uh, with a handgun or types of handguns. Of course, they also have included some other side matches that are really entertaining, as you saw in the program last week. Well, friends, we are glad to have you. This is the great Smith & Wesson 686 and 357 Magnum. And I'll tell you what, for those of you who doubt the viability of revolvers in modern society or in modern police work, some of the most elite uh, European anti-terrorist units, and realize these people uh, and some of these, uh, like I said, elite organizations in Europe that really have to deal with terrorists pretty often. I mean, it's, it's much more a, a daily or weekly thing with some of these other countries over there than it is here in the United States. And oddly enough, <laughs> after all these years of, of having semi-automatics, uh, some of these uh, very best units to deal with, with the terrorists that may hijack a plane or take people hostage are going back to what? Revolvers, yes. Uh, that's really true. So, let's get another shooting show started. Well, that was six times, but you know, sometimes we, we may think about if we only had one more shot, we've either got a hawk or an eagle. In fact, a couple of them that have joined us there. Looks pretty big for a hawk, maybe an eagle. Well, that's nice to see. Anyway, you know, we, we run our six shots through our revolver, but maybe we'll have something like this pesky and treacherous Louisiana watermelon to slip up on us here. Well, heck, it's not bad if you have <laughs> one more shot left in your gun. Of course, we have our seven shooter, our seven shot 357 Magnum from the good folks at Smith & Wesson. Comes in handy. Now friends, we have something exciting here to show you. This is the Shooting Show Custom Carry by the good folks at Clark Custom Guns. Now they have made these guns up for us. This is a Smith & Wesson Model 10 with a 3-inch heavy barrel. Uh, it has a dehorn hammer. It's missing the cocking spur there because it is made to pull from concealment. And of course, in many areas around the country, you can get a concealed carry license now, thankfully. Because, you know, friends, here on the shooting show, we never advocate breaking the law. But if you're a citizen that's concerned about their, their well-being, well, this would be a great option. This is a special purchase of guns from some Canadian police, and they were uh, shot very little. Some of them apparently have not been shot at all. It is a special purpose or <laughs> a purchase uh, by the good folks there at Clark Custom Guns, and it is a custom handgun. It has... A, uh, the cylinder holes there are chamfered for ease in, in speed loading and of course uh, any speed loader for a standard Model 10 or a Model 19 or 66, the K-Frame Smiths will fit this gun. Uh, it is very slick, it is dehorned, it has a special dull uh, dark finish to uh, not reflect glare and it has our shooting show custom carry name there on the side. This is a tremendous bargain. Typically uh, these gun, a gun like this if you went out and bought a revolver and had a custom gunsmith do all the things to it that this gun has had, you'd be looking at five, six, seven hundred dollars. In this case, uh, due to our good friends at Clark's working with us, they are making these guns available at two hundred and ninety-nine dollars with wood grip three hundred and twenty or twenty-five dollars, I think three twenty-five uh, with the custom rubber grip. Just depends on what you want. But you need to call them for availability. Of course, you know, in the past the 38 Special has not been known for being a really powerful cartridge, certainly with low recoil and great accuracy. But with a simple addition of Corbin ammunition, your 38 Special takes on another whole different characteristic. In fact, it becomes a, a light 357, certainly as good as a full charge 9mm. And a lot of us are just a lot more comfortable uh, with the revolver. Uh, a lot of folks out there may not want a semi-automatic, and this is something that is so easy to shoot well. And, of course, it has a nice, very slick action. They have had an action job. 
Like I said, this is a custom gun that would cost you probably more than twice uh, what they're retailing this gun for. So you want to give the good folks at Clark's a call there uh, in Princeton, Louisiana. You'll see the commercial later on in the show or at another time in the program, and you can get the phone number. I'll give it to you now, 318-949-9884. And this is such a tremendous package. We really do appreciate this, uh, them working with us. Well, just to show you, uh, let's, in fact, let's uh, do some up-close shooting with it right now and see what it looks like. Friends, you can see they have taken the spur off the hammer there, and of course we know this gun's empty, but they've chamfered these holes here on the uh, cylinder to make it easier to insert the cartridges from your speed loader, or just easier in loading in general. Notice we have the three inch heavy barrel here, and these guns have a very, very smooth action. Really a pleasure to shoot. Well, let's do a little shooting now. Go ahead and insert our, our speed loader there, and we're loaded. And let's see what it looks like. Got our target out here at a few yards. And we have all six there fired. Let's ease up and take a look. And friends, I was going pretty quickly there, and you can see that is all oh, about an inch and a half group uh, out here. And I'm thinking that is very fine performance. And the load we were shooting was a high performance Jack of the Hollow Point load. So that is no joke. You can see it's easy to shoot well and rapidly. Now, friends, just to give you an idea of where the 38 Special is with good ammunition. We have our 9mm here, and the 9 is a good cartridge with proper ammunition, but let's watch on our water bottle the 9 with the full metal jacket bullet that, heck, the military has carried it. See what it does as far as shock and power, just an example. One on the left. Well, made a little hole, and the water's running out. Okay, let's try our 38 Special our shooting show custom carry model with Corbine 38 Special Ammunition. Next water bottle. See, <laughs> it's not the same thing. Now friends, what we have here is we have our shot stop. This is for the 22, the 9mm 38. This is for the 45. So, uh, and they're considerably heavier, uh, the 45 is, but let's, let's do something. Let's take our full metal jacket 9mm and shoot our 45 uh, caliber uh, size on the shot stop and let's see what happens. Okay, see it, it hit it, but it really didn't do much for it there. Well, let's try the same drill with our 38 Special our Clark Custom Carry model here with Corbine ammunition. And yes, you can get Corbine. Give them a call, 1-800-626-7266, and we'll have their commercial in another place in the program. But yes, you can get Corbine. And of course, there are some other good 38 special cartridges out there. None as good as Corbine as far as, as effectiveness on a game animal or for defense. But there are some readily available uh, uh, 38 special cartridges. The 158 grain lead hollow points has a very good stopping power record, but let's see on our 45, see what our Corbine cartridge does. On our 45 shot stop cartridge. See, it hit considerably harder and did in fact push it on over. Well friends, needless to say, I think that a lot of you would enjoy owning one of our Clark Custom Carry Specials for made for the shooting show here. They really are superior guns and again, they're much, much cheaper are much less expensive because nothing cheap about these believe me much less expensive than uh, having one of these guns customized uh, if it was your own already so uh, this is something that uh, we thought a lot of you want to see give Clark Custom Guns a call if you'd be interested they'll be happy to work with you uh, send to your FFL or to a friend of yours who has an FFL or your local gun shop so anyway the uh, shooting show custom carry by Clark in 38 special Yes, indeed. As revolvers go, this is as good as it gets, friends. 
You know, friends, it's rare in any field of manufacture that one particular company has a clear-cut advantage over the others. Well, in this case, it's Corbon Ammunition, Corbon Bullet Company, because they make the best handgun, long gun, and even some specialty caliber ammunition that's been real hard to get in the past. If you really want your handgun or rifle to perform at their absolute best, you need to find some Corbon Ammunition. For information on where you can get Corbon, information on their product line, call them. Corbon Bullet Company, 1-800-626-7266. Again, give them a call. It's a free call. 1-800-626-7266. Trust me on this one. Corbon is the best there is. Gun Sight Training Center. <laughs> People have a tremendous change in attitude here. Go down to your target, stand about one meter back of your target, do not taste it. Do not taste it. Relay two seven meter lines. Then you go on down to a standard prone. The methods taught here at Gunsight have set training standards throughout the world. Defensive weaponry techniques afford the greatest speed, power, and accuracy. Students attending Gunsight are afforded the luxury of having an on-site custom shop for immediate service or repairs. It is a full-service gunsmith operation, performing the highest quality of custom modifications on all types of firearms, handguns, or long guns. And the Gunsight Pro Shop, a retail service dedicated to providing the best shooting products and items available in the world today. Now, friends, for information on the Gunsight Training Center, on their custom shop, or on their pro shop, give them a call, area 520-636-4565. Area 520-636-4565. Get a catalog, get information on their custom shop, or on the tremendous stock in their pro shop. They're some of the finest people out there, friends. If you go to Gunsight Training Center, you will definitely come back knowing, one, how to shoot a gun and how to better protect yourself in this dangerous world we live in. Well, friends, here we are standing. The, this young man is named Jim Starr, and we're so excited, uh, one, about where Jim has brought us to today. We're in the Capitan Mountains in south central New Mexico. And friends, you know, Jim, you and I were talking earlier, uh, you and I and Bobby, and said, you know, no one told us that, there was, <laughs> that this was here in New Mexico. Yes, sir, that's true. Well, friends, one point we want to make here, Jim is a for real pro at what he does and you'll notice he's holding an unusual black powder rifle here and, and Jim tell us what this particular gun is. Looks like a Remington. What is it? That's exactly what it is. It's uh, Remington's new model 700 muzzleloader. Uh, yeah friends that's a 700 uh, muzzleloading rifle. That's correct. It comes in both the blue and the stainless. But Jim is an expert black powder hunter and shooter uh, and he has a new tape. Why don't you tell us about your new tape that you're going to be selling? That, uh, that new tape we come out with is kind of unique because it's, it's probably the only black powder instructional video that I personally know of that's going to be on the market for, uh, for our viewers to, to pick up at a reasonable price, uh, which will introduce them into the sport of black powder. I'm Kelly. Hey, and I'm Jim, and between the two of us, we've got over 40 years of hunting experience. We're both federally certified firearms instructors. Hey, this video is going to introduce you to the sport of black powder hunting. Friends, to order this great black powder instruction tape, 
You can call Desert Star Productions at 1-800-715-5408. Again, 1-800-715-5408. Or they have a second 800 number, 1-800-979-0161. 1-800-979-0161, extension 148. They'll accept uh, uh, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or, or even checks and money orders. And the tape is $19.95 plus $3 shipping and handling. And please allow four to six weeks for delivery, so hurry and get your order in today. This is an excellent tape for any of you who are interested in black powder. We certainly encourage you to order it. The Shoot and Show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station. My name is Jim Willie. I'm here today to introduce you to the Little Freedom Association. Our goal is to unite the citizens of this country together to promote and protect our Constitution and our constitutional rights, especially the Second Amendment, because it's what protects the rest of them. If we took all the patriotic, moral, law-abiding citizens and joined them together, we would have the single largest group in the nation. I can't see how anyone out there could not be concerned about our Constitution. For sign up or more information, we may be contacted at P.O. Box 1436, Craig, Colorado, 81626. Phone number is area code 970-824-8771. I'd like to thank Johnny and the judge for the time on this show today, and I'd also like to thank everyone out there. Well, Jim, we certainly applaud everything that, that you're doing here. Soldier of Fortune magazine, published and edited by Robert K. Brown, former Special Forces A-Team leader, delivers the goods. For over 20 years, Soldier of Fortune has been on the lines covering wars from Rhodesia, El Salvador, Angola, Grenada, Burma, Panama, and Croatia. Anywhere a shot has been fired in anger, Soldier of Fortune has been there with in-depth, on-the-scene commentaries. We were on the cutting edge at Waco, the Randy Weaver siege, and covering the Oklahoma City bombing, and now at Jordan, Montana, with Soldier of Fortune correspondent Jim Pate being the first reporter to enter the Freeman compound. Each issue of Soldier of Fortune features articles by internationally known weapons expert Peter Kokalis, evaluating what's good, what's bad, and what's new in the field of weaponry. Soldier Fortune is in the front of the battle to protect our gun rights, and we're constantly on the alert for federal abuses of power. Subscribe now at the special rate of $28.90. Call 1-800-877-5207 and receive 12 action-packed issues of Soldier Fortune magazine. In addition, you will receive a free copy of Fighting Firearms edited by Peter Kokalis. Again, 1-800-877-5207. 12 action-packed issues of Soldier Fortune magazine, $28.90. And now let's go back to the Masters Tournament in Barry, Illinois, just south of Quincy. And today we're going to look at uh, some of the top 16 shooters in the final shoot-off. The three different types of guns they'll be using is on precision. They're using 22 long rifle, semi-automatic pistols. In the action event, they're using race guns, uh, and of course, and one revolver, Jerry Michalik's uh, gun. And in the long range, they're using high-powered bolt-action pistols. With Kelly Gilmore and Bill Stand by. Ready. Stand by. One point seven two. To Kelly Gilmore. Shooter is ready. Stand by. Two 
at 6-1. A good run, but not good enough. The winner on the left, Doug Canning. The next event will be the precision event. Shooter's ready. Shooter's all ready. Stand by. Jerry Mitchell from Clark Custom Guns, also John Farley, I believe, over on the right. Believe me, friends, they don't get to this level of competition without being good in all the disciplines done here at the match. Our first event will be precision, followed by long range. Thank you. 
Okay, we have a 60 second time limit here, unlimited shots. We have long range targets out there. Of course, these are custom bolt guns. Friends, these, these handguns will outshoot most bolt action rifles. In fact, some of them will shoot into five shots at 100 yards, a half inch or less. Some of them will do that. So, this is really the grid difficulty for standing up holding these uh, guns. Uh, shooting offhand is really impressive. Friends, here we have Merle Eddington on your left and Ken Tapp over in the right box there. And again, uh, two excellent shooters. Uh, the top 16 shoot off could literally on any given day be won by about any of these competitors. Okay, here we have Mickey Fowler on your left. Uh, certainly one of the great action shooters uh, who actually retired from action shooting in 1983, but he is still a fierce competitor. We have Kenny Surratt over here from the U.S. Army shooting team. Uh, they're competing in the action event first. Let's see what happens. Bruce Pied on your left, and I believe Steve Taylor on the right. And the winner on the left right. is Pied. Stand by. Two point two seven. The pair of work, Steve. I mean, not when you're ready, Steve. <laughs> Okay, we have Jerry Mitchell matching up against Frank Glenn. Jerry shooting. Probably the only revolver in the uh, in this portion of the match. Stand by. One point five seven. Two ten. Is ready. Stand by. You're shooting against Mickey Fowler. Uh, Bruce will be setting the pace because he finished highest in that particular event in the regular match. Let's see what Bruce did. A good time of 1.74. Let's see what Mickey Fowler does. Fowler has won the long range. Now we're going to go to precision in his round here against Bruce Pite. Mickey was one of the very first extremely well-known professional shooters, and it's good to, to see that he can still do it with the best of them.
So as not to take anything away from Bruce Pite, Bruce is a law enforcement officer and a very easygoing person. I tell you what, he is a fierce competitor. You know, Carrie, I think it's as important for you ladies to know how to use these firearms as it is for us men. But you know, there's something else. We can have uh, firearms for defense of our homes and certainly for sport, but we also need information. Yes, I agree. I think the New American Magazine is the best source of information available in this country. Well, I would certainly agree. The New American Magazine is the truth and nothing but the truth. And friends, if you would like to know what is really going on in this country and around the world, if you want, in fact, the truth, well, you need to get the New American Magazine. So here's how to do it. You can get the New American by calling 1-800-727-TRUE. And those numbers, of course, are 1-800-727-8783. The New American, $22 for a six-month subscription. It comes twice a month. You know, friends, these firearms are certainly important in retaining our liberty, but something else is too. Can't uh, hold up the uh, this is the new uh, American cover, the new new American cover. You know they're now uh, going to be in on your local newsstand. This issue is available with your new shooting show subscription, and this is the one that says the case for cover up in Oklahoma City on that bombing. So friends, uh, as we've often said, the New American is the finest news. Uh, magazine available in the United States. So we encourage you today, and with your new shooting show subscription, you will get this copy of the New American. And trust me on this one, friends. This is as good an investment as you can make in reading literature because it's just excellent. And look for the new style cover for the New American magazine. The shooting show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station. Friends, we want to announce the Ladies Charity Classic Handgun Event in Houston. This will be on November 16, 1996, so you have plenty of time to prepare here. Uh, firearms will be provided by Smith & Wesson, ammunition provided by Federal. It's for beginning and experienced shooters alike. Everyone has the same chance of winning prizes. There's a $65 entry fee, which includes lunch, ammo, and free drawings and free instruction. So uh, let me give you that phone number for the Ladies Charity Classic, area 713-584. 9907-713-584-9907 or you can fax them at uh, area 713-584-9874 and this is a great thing this benefits the Make-A-Wish Foundation so if you're a lady who would like to participate in that please give those folks a call. You know friends all of us as shooting enthusiasts should be subscribing to Shotgun News the trading post for anything that shoots three big issues monthly with literally thousands and thousands of firearms bargains give them a call 1-800-345-6923, a very inexpensive subscription price. Again, 1-800-345-6923. Subscribe today. Sure is ready. Stand by. One point nine seven. Back to Mickey. another round. This is a special side match between Jay Mitchellick and Mickey Fowler. They're going to make some runs on the action targets here, which I think is a great idea. 
Well, it's two of the finest competitors, two of the favorite shooters here she is at, ready. at the Masters. Stand by. She is ready. Stand by. Holster. And behind your back. A two point six four. She is ready. Stand by. So Jerry's showing how fast he can run now. He's incidentally shooting his revolver. His eight shot 38 Super Smith & Wesson revolver modified by RPM, I believe. Stand by. Still terrific competition right up to the end. So I want to congratulate Ken Tapp for a job well done. That's all the other shooters are in this competition. We especially want to express our appreciation to Boy Scouts for the work that they've done. Soldier of Fortune magazine, published and edited by Robert K. Brown, former Special Forces A Team leader delivers the goods. For over 20 years, Soldier of Fortune has been on the lines covering wars from Rhodesia, El Salvador, Angola, Grenada, Burma, Panama, and Croatia. Anywhere a shot has been fired in anger, Soldier of Fortune has been there with in-depth, on-the-scene commentaries. We were on the cutting edge at Waco, the Randy Weaver siege, and covering the Oklahoma City bombing, and now at Jordan, Montana, with Soldier of Fortune correspondent Jim Pate being the first reporter to enter the Freeman compound. Each issue of Soldier of Fortune features articles by internationally known weapons expert Peter Kokalis evaluating what's good, what's bad, and what's new in the field of weaponry. Soldier of Fortune is in the front of the battle to protect our gun rights, and we're constantly on the alert for federal abuses of power. Subscribe now at the special rate of $28.90. Call 1-800-877-5207 and receive 12 action-packed issues of Soldier of Fortune magazine. In addition, you will receive a free copy of Fighting Firearms, edited by Peter Kokalis. Again, 1-800-877-5207, 12 action-packed issues of Soldier Fortune magazine, $28.90. Friends realize that the Soldier Fortune convention is very close. It's going to be September 18th through 22nd in Las Vegas, Nevada. You need to get your reservation in now. Also, you may want to call SOF uh, about one of their convention information packages. You can do that by calling area 303-449-3750, again 303-449-3750 and asking about that. Incidentally, if in previous months you had uh, gotten a subscription through our program here and you didn't get your copy of Fighting Firearms magazine, give them a call back and they'll get one out to you right away. So they're very fine people certainly that support this program, we certainly want to support them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we have the winner of the Masters Tournament and the winner of the shoot-off. This is Doug Koenig, and Doug, we thought you looked really good out there today. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. It felt pretty good out there today. Now, you're based in Pennsylvania. You're from Pennsylvania? Yep. Yep, from Pennsylvania. And let's put in a word for your sponsors. I see you're wearing Colt colors. Who else? Yeah, Colt, Safari Land, uh, Leupold, Oakley, Sierra Bullets, uh, Evolution Gunworks, Gilmore, Sport Optics. I have a lot of sponsors. Well, I tell you what, uh, you may not appreciate this, but people say that you're one of the nicest people in the sport. What? I don't know if you want to refute that or not. Well, I don't know what to say that. I, I try to be. You know, I, I enjoy everybody at the competitions, and I, I have a good time. Well, you've certainly drawn the respect of everyone here. We wish you a lot of a lot of good luck in the future. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks. Okay.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing here with Niles Latham, and he is, uh, how about very famous photographer, sir? <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds good. I don't know if it's true or not. Congratulations. I have a great deal of fun uh, photographing the shooting sports. Well, don't you, you have a son who uh, has done a little shooting, hadn't he? Yeah, he claims to be my son. I guess it's true. <laughs> well, but uh, he's Rob Latham. Yeah, that's, that's his mom. And, uh, well, hello. <laughs> Oh, I this is you were wrong. this is Robbie Latham's mom and dad. How about that? I didn't know you were and uh, we just thought some of you out there might like to see uh, one of the people responsible for some of those neat pictures, especially an American handgunner. And of course, we've seen your work in, in a number of publications. Well, it's fun to do it. I I enjoy it very much. The shooters are among the greatest people in the world, and uh, I enjoy the sport because I constantly see examples of good sportsmanship and the finest ideals of uh, human values. Great. Well, sir, we appreciate you stopping and talking with us today, and we'll look forward to seeing more of your work. Thanks a lot. Congratulations Thank you, on your work. Thank you. Well, friends, I'm standing here with the coordinator of the match. This is Ken Jorgensen from Smith & Wesson. Sir, you had a great match, didn't you? We had a great match. It, uh, we had all the right competitors and all the right crowd and all the right sponsors and all the right weather, and it just was a good match. I'll tell you, w everything we saw was just terrific cooperation from the volunteers, the way it was set up, and we certainly want to give uh, accolades to Smith & Wesson for, for your efforts in this match. Well, Smith & Wesson has had a long history with this match. We started it 11 years ago, and uh, last year after the few problems the match had, we just decided we couldn't let it go away and kind of jumped in to make it happen again and there were plenty of people out there that were willing to help. Well, great, Kim. We certainly wish you a lot of luck. I know our folks are really going to enjoy seeing this all over America, and uh, we're going to do our part to assist. And tremendous effort here. So this is the Masters in 1996. When, when will it be next year? It'll be uh, early part of August. I don't know the exact dates right now, but first part of August again next year. Well, trust me, friends, if you have not made plans, this is a beautiful part of the country. This would be a great vacation to plan it around the Masters. Great family entertainment and certainly a great competition if you'd like to go that route. So, Ken, we look forward to seeing you next year, sir. Thank you. Now, friends, what do Jim Clark Sr., K. Clark Michalik, Jerry Michalik, and Jim Clark Jr. have in common? You can find them all at Clark Custom Guns in Princeton, Louisiana, one of the finest custom gun shops in the entire country. They offer all sorts of custom packages on 1911s and other semi-automatics, from race guns to custom carry guns. They also offer a number of different custom packages for the Ruger 1022, and also have some very economically priced new 1022s in stock. Clark Custom Guns offers some of the best revolver packages available anywhere, including action jobs on your Smith & Wesson or some other fine revolvers. In addition to custom work, they also have a completely stocked gun shop, anything from bullets to powder to accessories that you might want. Clark Custom Guns offer some shooting classes you need to call for availability. Friends, it's certainly good for the shooting show, but good for yourselves when you call and get a Clark Custom Guns catalog. They have all sorts of things listed about their products and services and excellent prices. Give them a call, area 318-949-9884. Again, 318-949-9884. Clark Custom Guns, the complete custom gun shop. Give them a call today. Tell them you saw it on the shooting show. Now, friends, Clark Custom Guns now has 400 Corbon chambering barrels in stock for your 1911, so give them a call. Again, they have the new 400 Corbon barrel for the 1911. The shooting show will be right back after this break for your local cable company or TV station.
friends, we hope you're enjoying our program. We're certainly glad to be here with you today. I tell you this, uh, I really have enjoyed uh, this seven shot 357 Magnum uh, that the good folks at Smith & Wesson have loaned us. And we do want to uh, certainly give them some, some credit for their efforts around the Masters Tournament and certainly the help that Smith & Wesson has, has given this program. Uh, also, next time you go in to buy a handgun, you're looking for a handgun, well, we would certainly encourage you to have that in mind. If you're a uh, supporter of, of our program, well, the good folks at Smith are, are uh, uh, certainly trying. They're doing the best they can, and they do make a superior gun, whether it's a revolver or semi-automatic. We do want to mention on our radio program, we have a new sponsor that uh, we wanted to mention to you folks here. And this is the Barcelini and Wilkins firm. They're down in Venice, Florida. And judge, they deal in gold. And you know, in the, in the strange times that we're having, gold may not be a bad consideration, huh? Reminds me of the words of the Rubiot where uh, uh, the author says, I often wonder what the Venice buy when half so precious is the stuff they sell. <laughs> Well, I tell you, we have uh, had a very nice couple of conversations with uh, these folks, and uh, what you need to do, if you're interested in buying gold, and they have uh, numismatic uh, gold coins, and uh, for several times uh, in our history, in our, in our country's history, the government has confiscated gold, if my understanding is correct, and uh, this gives some safeguards against confiscation. So, uh, you know, gold will always be worth money, huh, Judge? gold historically is always it has gold. always been thus so it is uh, always a good investment and these folks are very fine people to work with let me give you get your pencil out here let me give you their 800 number that'd be the smartest thing to do is give them a call and get them to send you the package they have a newsletter uh, and uh, really which would help that's what you need to do just get their package and read it because uh, it's a free call uh, 1-800 Four nine seven six five three one and ask uh, for their information package. That is the Barcelona and Wilkins. Very uh, nice people, and this is something that a lot of us, I think, would have an interest in. American gold coins. So uh, they are uh, going to make every effort to give you the best price possible uh, on this gold. And remember, I mean, gold is is always going to be there when what our our paper currency has changed in value so many times and now we're not even sure what uh, with some of these new bills they're printing we're not even sure what it is but you can never go wrong by a gold purchase there so I would give you I encourage you to give these nice folks a call that is 1-800-497-6531 and ask them to send you their package on owning gold well, sir, I see you have some interesting reading material here uh, uh, I think I see uh, a new American magazine under there and I think what do you want to, I think there were some important things you want to mention about that. I see a picture of Joseph McCarthy. Well, you know, that's an interesting thing here in uh, September 2nd issue of New American. They go back over and talk about the Joseph McCarthy case. And I think that that uh, the, uh, the KGB files that have now been made uh, uh, public and available to the American public uh, show that everything that Joe McCarthy said was true, only he, he wasn't being strong enough. He didn't have enough. Uh, he was uh, uh, he was just scratching the surface. Isn't that something? Well, for what McCarthy said, he, if I remember correctly, he said that the State Department was full of socialists or communists. And he began to point people out, and of course, uh, then he was vilified by the media and by those same people in the State Department who had the stroke over the over the networks, over the uh, the news media, and literally uh, McCarthy was he was doing a crucified, wasn't he, Judge? He, he certainly was. He certainly was. But uh, history has shown that he was right. Uh, I don't guess that helps him much. It may help members of his family and and the way they feel about things. Uh, there's an article in here about Michael New. Mm -hmm taking a stand and, uh, and and what he did. You know, Michael knew is a young American soldier that refused to wear the UN blue. And uh, they court-martialed him for it and that case is still pending. Uh, I, I just thought this was an interesting issue of New American because of 
uh, because of that, the uh, uh, I have made up my mind on the presidential election yet. Uh, I think I'm in a position where I don't really have anywhere to go. Uh, I like Jack Kemp. Always have liked him. Voted for him in 1980 to be uh, Reagan's vice president. The uh, unfortunate thing about this, I think Dole was flip-flopped on, on the issues of gun control, but uh, Kemp and Dole have both consistently voted in historically in favor of gun owners. Uh, Dole is responsible for the Brady Bill, of course, and I'm, I'm very unhappy about that. And he voted in favor of uh, Senator Feinstein's uh, semi-auto ban uh, or a certain so-called assault weapon ban. Uh, but on the other hand, question, would you rather have him or would you rather have Clinton who was pushing those things? The new study that's come out from the Chicago School of Law professor John Lott in a landmark study of right to carry uh, entitled Crime, Deterrence, and Right to Carry Concealed Handguns. And they have a very thorough study showing that when states adopt right to carry laws that the crime rate goes down. Uh, I don't know why it took everybody else so long to realize this because we've all known it all along. Well, as we said uh, the other day, the criminal does not pick on someone he sees as an equal or someone ill. Criminals are basically very self-centered people, wouldn't you agree, Judge? Absolutely. Yeah. They're very self-centered. They're not going to take a chance on being injured or much, much less being killed by someone they'll attack. That's why they pick on typically the, the uh, weaker people, children, women, uh, older people. And suddenly when any of these people, well, the women and the older people especially, can defend themselves or they know if they face the chance of when they break in a home that they may not leave or they may leave in an ambulance, they'll avoid that. Uh, you have some things here, I think, that talk about just what the, uh, what the United Nations has planned for us, us as Americans. Is that correct? Yeah. How does the threat of a global IRS suit you? Well, it doesn't suit me at all. It doesn't suit me at all. How's the idea of UN taxing trillions of dollars with no one to control how it's spent? It's not going to fly. Uh, are you frightened by the prospects of United Nations control one world government? Yes, I am. One world currency? I am frightened. frightened minimum, minimum wages for everybody? Whether you do anything or not. Uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm very much concerned about the whole thing. and. I don't quite understand why the people in the United States of America are so anxious to, to give up sovereignty. Uh, I don't think the people are, Judge. I don't believe the people are anxious to give up our country. What I think uh, that literally we've lost control of Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is a runaway freight train. And I'll tell you what, it's going to jump the tracks here at some point. And our folks have got to be prepared emotionally and, and mentally to make some decisions at the ballot box, which have to be done. And I know there's something here you want to you talk about. Yeah, there's, a, about. there's a cartoon I saw today, an editorialist card cartoon, and uh, I'll have to describe it to you because I can't seem to find it right now, and I'm surrounded by papers. Uh, it was a cartoon showing, uh, I guess it was in the... Uh, uh, in the New American. It was a cartoon showing a, a copy of the Bill of Rights. Yeah, here it is. In Gun Week. Uh, yeah. Good in, publication. In Gun in Week. Gun Week. Uh, a cartoon is showing and talking about terrorism. Uh, and uh, let me see if we can focus in on this. It's a cartoon showing a politician holding up a copy of the Bill of Rights with a big hole in it. Mm -hmm. And he says, if you look through the hole, you might find a terrorist. Yeah. After you cut a hole in the Bill of Rights. And unfortunately, that is all too true because literally they want to take away our Bill of Rights in the name of fighting terrorism. Let me ask something, Judge. 
you know, years ago, you used to be able to get handguns in the mail. Certainly, when I was a kid, you could we 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 got uh, bought surplus rifles in the mail, all kinds of stuff. Uh, back when you could order handguns and things in the mail, do you think we had higher crime or lower crime than we have now? I think we must have had lower crime because otherwise they couldn't have anything to compare it to. All right, and when we then when the 1968 Gun Control Act was passed, did did that lower crime, making it illegal to? Uh, send uh, rifles and things through the mail service and, and to your house without? Well, the, the crime rate w went up. It's always gone, gone up. The more gun control you've had, the higher the crime rate has been consistently throughout the history of these United States. And friends, that's what, that's what it's all about. That's what our struggle is, literally. Every time the one world order people, the new world order people come up with new rules and regulations, things progressively get worse when they start putting more regulation on these firearms, regardless of, of what kind they are, it gets worse. And, and our point is, it's got to stop, it's got to turn around. And that is going to uh, hinge on what we do at the polls. Am I correct, sir? Absolutely, absolutely. And I was, I was amused here. Uh, Ms. Matoska, who is the NRA's chief lobbyist and head of uh, Institute for Legislative Action, right. was on a panel not long ago with Sam Donaldson, and she cited a study that showed how dangerous targets were in ammunition. Now that study it was some time ago, it was in uh, 1983, and Sam Donaldson wanted to know why she seized on a, on a study uh, that, were, that was so, so long ago, and where they used such large amounts of targets. And she said, well, that's the only study that's ever been done. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it was a disaster. And, of course, that's what Taggart's is all about, as we've said on the radio program, as we've said on the others. Uh, it was to shut down the manufacture of small arms ammunition. Well, of course, uh, Sam Donaldson answered. He said, uh, well, at the rate these bombs are, are coming, unfortunately these days, that would take a year or two. And in the meanwhile, law enforcement may lose an important tool to try to find the culprits. Taggart's are not an important tool to find culprits. No. Of any kind. Not workable. Uh, the... Uh, uh, the safety of 73 million, and I think that's a small figure, 73, 75 million gun owners is of no big concern to, to, to uh, Sam Donaldson. He wants to go ahead and put targets in ammunition. Potentially dangerous. Uh, a study has now been authorized which will determine that once and for all as of this date. And in the meanwhile, uh, put the targets in the, in the powder regardless of whether or not they're safe because 65 million gun owners, that's just 65 million people I think Sam Donaldson is about to soon get rid of. Well, maybe. But we're not going to stand for it, friends. And stay tuned. We'll be talking about these things. Uh, Larry Pratt is supposed to be our, our guest, as you see this earlier today on the radio program. And uh, we're going to have some things to talk about with him that I think will be, will be good. Stay with us, friends. We've we have such a huge job ahead. I told you last two years ago, I'm going to say it again, get yourself registered, make sure your friends are registered, make sure you go out and vote and don't, don't go out for, uh, searching for deer that day or if you are, vote absentee. Uh, get yourself involved. If you're going to go out and, and uh, hunt deer on that day, vote absentee and then take along some gun control advocate along with you so he can't vote. Just do what you need to do, but stand up and be counted, because if you're not counted and you're not there, then you're voting for Clinton, in essence. Now, friends, you need to take advantage of our Shooting Show satellite offer, a complete satellite dish hookup with remote control installed, $1,496.15. This is the Unimesh dish, the number one selling dish in this country. Give Bobby a call, 1-800-728-8486 for our Shooting Show satellite dish program. <laughs>